Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today, I wanna to show you how to create a Christmas e-card in Adobe InDesign. In this lesson, I'm gonna go over how to use animation, timing, and publish online. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start creating our Christmas e-card. But before we do that, I wanna show you the document that I am working off of. So just go to File, New, or Create New Document, and you can see that I'm working in pixels here. So if you want a standard, say, 5x7, um, and you don't know the conversion for pixels, uh, just simply go into the field for width and type in 5 with the little inches and then hit your tab key and then it automatically converts it to the pixels for you. And then I'm just gonna hit seven inches, tab. And so um, if, you're, if you're doing a digital card, an e-card uh, in pixel size, it's 360 by 504. Now, if you have a size in mind that you'd like to use, by all means, go ahead and do that. And then I'm just working off one page, actually two pages here. Uh, one I've already set up, so I'm just gonna um, hit close because I already have one set up here. So I'm gonna hit close. You would hit create and it would create this workspace for you. Now this is the finished product that I have here and we're gonna be working with animation and timing to set up our card. Um, and each one of these uh, assets on my page here has a different animation to it. So the, the glasses will come in, they'll bounce in, the mustache, Santa's mustache will zoom in uh, 2D and the, the beard will come in, fly in from the bottom. So each one will come in together on page load and I'll show you how to do that. And then we'll set up animation for the text below. Now this can be custom to what you want. If you're sending a, a card to a specific person, obviously you can put their name in. But if it's more generic and you'd want to share it with a group of people, then just leave it generic, Merry Christmas, or whatever whatever you'd like to use in terms of messaging. So I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom here, and I do have some of my assets already on the, the off to the pasteboard here, so the Santa um, illustration. And this is basically just from Adobe stock that I've, I've uh, purchased, and I'm gonna use it for this tutorial, so. Okay, so this tutorial is for beginners, it's for intermediate, it's for advanced, whatever you want. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that this can be done by, by any level of skill. Um, let's go ahead and grab our rectangle frame tool. And I'm just gonna zoom in just a bit here. And let's start off by just creating a rectangle that covers the entire page. Go to my swatches and I've created a red color that I, I want to use for this theme. So basically I'm just recreating what you see in on page one. Now I wanna add a pattern, some snowflake pattern, and I have that. I'm just gonna pull it onto my page. There it is there. And I'm just gonna simply drop it into this frame. So just click and it'll drop it into that frame for you. Now it's gold and I don't want it to be so intense here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the content grabber or the donut. And in my properties panel, I wanna change the opacity to multiply. So it blends in with that red. And then I'm just gonna to tone it down just a bit. Maybe 50% will work. So something like that. So it's not, um, it's it's subtle, but you could still see it, okay? And we don't want the snowflakes to be as, you know, distracting to the animation. So I think that works there, okay? So basically I just drop that right into that frame and then change the opacity, the blending mode from normal to multiply and the opacity from 100% to 50%, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna start placing the um, the Santa illustration onto my page. Um, and then you'll see that I'm going to place the, the glasses to the right and I'll show you why in just a few moments. Before I do that, I'm just gonna go into my links panel here, click this. And I do want, I'm sorry, my layers panel. And I want to, I wanna go ahead and, um, I wanna lock that layer, just this, so when I'm moving things around, 
um, that won't that won't move as I'm placing things on the page. So let's go ahead and start with the mustache first. Let's bring that to the front. So I want it something like that for now, and then I can kind of mimic and see where I had it up top. So maybe something like this. It doesn't have to be exact what I have. Okay, so I've got the mustache on. Let's bring the beard. And I'm using my smart guides, as you can see. Bring that to the front. Bring that to the front, okay. And then the glasses, you're gonna notice that I'm not gonna place the glasses right here on the, um, on the page. I'm gonna place them on the pasteboard area because I'm gonna set up an animation where they come in from the left and they're gonna kind of bounce um, into position at the end. Okay, so something like that might work. Let me bring it over just to see. Yep, and then I'm just gonna shift it. I'm using my, I'm holding shift and my right arrow to bring it right back to the pasteboard. Okay, let's go ahead and add our messaging now. So what did I have up here? From our family to yours. to yours and the typeface that I'm using for this is a an Adobe font called Be Lie Be Lie Display which is a pretty cool font there and I do want that in all caps and centered and I just want that in white let's just make it a little bit bigger so something like that and of course you can use whatever um, whatever font you like uh, something that's Christmas themed or you know something that uh, may catch your eye. So let's make this Mary Did I have it over two lines? Yes, I did so Mary Christmas Adjust the line spacing and then just bump it up and I'll adjust the line spacing again So line spacing or letting if you're new to InDesign Oftentimes you're gonna have some text sitting or butting on top of each other if it's over two lines or multiple lines. If you want to adjust the line spacing, now I'm doing it manually. I'm just holding Option on a Mac or Alt on Windows and just your down key will adjust the line spacing or letting. That can also be found in your properties panel next to the, um, the point size. So to the right of the point size is your letting. Right now it's at 26.8, so you, you can increase it. So maybe 28 works for what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just gonna click on Merry Christmas and adjust that so it's centered to everything. Okay, great. So this one's pretty minimalistic in terms of the design aspect. But if you're sending a Christmas card, you you normally want it to be that way anyhow. So now let's go ahead and start our animation. Okay, so there are two panels that you'll need to open before we move on to the animation and timing. And those are the two panels you're gonna need. So go up to Window, Interactive, Animation. Window, Interactive, Timing. Okay, those are the two that we're gonna use and I already have mine torn off on the side here. So let's go ahead and start with the beard first. I wanna choose a preset preset of fly in from bottom okay I want to click on the mustache part and let's go ahead and make that zoom in 2d and let's click on the glasses actually let's deal with this these two first so the mustache I want this to play a, of a duration of 0.15 seconds. So you can find that right here. And the event, yes, it will be on page load. So when this loads, um, the mustache will pop in, the beard will come in, and then the glasses. And then we'll set that up in timing so they all play together as well. Let's click on the beard. So it is on page load, and I want this also to be 1.5 seconds. Um, and let's just take a look at how that how that looks so far. So you can see the beard pops in and then the mustache. 
which is good. Let's click on, um, let's go ahead and click on the glasses. And the preset in this case is the last one in the presets to choose from. It's called Wave. This is not one that I've typically used before, but I found that it re it's really cool for this e-card. And of course, you can choose whatever presets that you like. Now, there is one additional step when you're using Wave and you have this pulled off to the side. See this green arrow here? This has to be to the center point of the page so that InDesign knows that when you set up this animation, the glasses will come in, bounce in, and stop here. So you're going to click this, this green arrow here, and then you're going to grab your direct selection tool and grab this little end point here, right there. Zoom back out a little bit. And I'm going to bring that, double click it, and then bring it to the center point of the design. So now the glasses will um, come in, bounce in, and come in at the end over here. Now I do, before we go any further, I want to click on this these glasses. And let's also make that set up at two seconds. So just a little bit after the beard and the mustache come in. Let's have a look and see how that plays out. So you saw that the glasses came in right after. Now there was a little bit of a delay and um, that's okay. We're gonna set that up in timing so that the glasses come, come in a little bit sooner than what you saw there. Okay, now let's go to the bottom and let's set up our text uh, animation. I'm going to click on from our family to yours. And the preset in this case is I want it to fly in from the left. Okay. And Merry Christmas is going to actually let's click that and I want that at a 1.5 duration. So you want your duration of the animations to be somewhat consistent. So if it's 1.5 for all of them, if you want to make one of them maybe two seconds, you can do that as well. Okay, I'm going to click on Merry Christmas. And this one is going to fly in from bottom. And also add a duration of 1.5 seconds. And let's have a look before we set up our timing if all the animation works. So the beard, the mustache, there's the glasses, there's from our family to yours, and there is Merry Christmas, perfect. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is set up the timing. Um, so these all, all these animation, um, the group set of the glasses, the mustache, and the beard will play together, and then the text will play together shortly after that animation comes in. So let's set that one up next. Okay, so let's switch over from the animation panel to timing. So you should have both windows combined into one like I do here. But if you don't, then just um, grab the timing panel. And let's focus our attention now on setting up the timing so these animations play together. So first things first, I'm going to click Merry Christmas and from our family to yours. And I want those two to play together. So I'm gonna click this little icon down below. By the way, to group them together, to select them together, I should say, click one, hold your command on Mac, control on Windows, and click the other. And then go ahead and click this icon to play together. And go ahead and do the same for the graphic elements, so the illustration that I have here, okay? Now they're not named, you can rename them, but I know that those three are these three elements. So graphic frame, group, and group. Go ahead and play those together. Now it's important to have this group above the text. If you had them reversed, the text will actually play first and then this would play second. So this is actually ranking them how you want them to play out as well, okay? So now that I've set that up, let's go ahead and see how it looks with them all timed together. So you can see that comes in and then that one, that's why I set that at two seconds, right? 
So I set these at 1.5, that's why they came in together. And the fact that I just waited a half second, um, 0.5 second um, more for the glasses, that's exactly what I was going for. So I'll play that again. Those two come in and then the glasses and then there's your message. So let's go ahead as a, as a final step and publish this online. So you could share this link with um, the people that you're sharing the e-card with. So in my top right hand corner here, I'm gonna click the share button. And of course you have some options on how to share your work. We wanna focus our attention on publish online. This is a technique that I've gone over in various uh, interactive design tutorials that I've done. So go ahead and click that. And it's gonna bring up this window with your options. So let's call this Christmas card two. You can add a description of what this is. Um, you can set up the pages that you want to export or publish. Now, because I have two here, I only want to publish the second one that I created. So I'm going to hit range and I'm going to type in two because that's the one that I showed you how to create all the animation and set the timing. Um, this is a single page. If you were doing a double page uh, spread, then obviously like a double card, that's an option too, by the way, set it up as a spread over two, almost as if you're looking at an open card. That That's cool too. You can take that, that route. But in this case, it's single page, which is fine. You can also allow viewers to download the document if they want as a PDF. And that's it. I'm just going to hit publish and let that do its thing. Now, it's not going to take long because there's not um, there's not a lot of elements on here. So you can see it's just going to breeze right through. And I'm going to hit view document. It's going to open up in my web browser. And let's have a look and see how it looks on page load. So there you go. Uh, you can see the animation worked. I'm just going to hit refresh and let's take a look at it again. Perfect. There's the messaging. And so you've created an e-card that now you can share this link um, on, uh, which is hosted by uh, on an Adobe server. But as an added benefit, if you go down below, you can hit the share button. There's the link to share. You can share it on Facebook or Twitter. You could email it um, if you want as well. There's also an option here to um, to embed it. So if you wanted to put it on a website for you know maybe some customers, if you're doing if you have your own business and you want to share an e-card with customers or clients, or there's so many options here. But you have an embed code which you can take and put it uh, embedded into your website. So there's many options as well in terms of how to present this e-card to clients, friends, family, the people you love. And so that's how you do it. So that's a simple way of creating a Christmas themed e-card in Adobe InDesign. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified when new videos have been posted. And if you'd like to learn more about interactive design, go ahead and click the playlist above.